the money for the only luxury. And so you distribute from the gold you receive to the gold that you receive. And dance and chant and take prasad. Prabhupada, it was very simple to say that. Yeah. In this golden age, by chanting the holy name, by serving the devotee, it means serve the society. Devotee is a society. And uh, dancing and going pilgrimage is the perfection. If there is a purity. Everything can be possible than impossible. But it depends on our conscience. Especially here mentioned the bhajan. Bhajan is a life, it's not only one hobby that we chant Hare Krishna for two hours, three hours. Bhajan is a love our life that Mahaprabhu <coughs> gave an example when he was in the on the, on the, on the planet. And Prabhupada gave an example how to put in practice this golden age that is, uh, is already there. You have to have, a, have the key mm. to open the, cas- the, the treasure of a couvert. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it okay that I repeat for Gurudev the translation yes, sure, sure. Uh, from the verse? Sure. <laughs> so we are reading from, uh, verse 20. Um, the senses that dwell in our bodies are so many enemies. Nobody obeys anyone. My ears hear, but don't listen. And my heart knows, but does not realize. They cannot become determined and fixed. In the margin, yeah. in our duty life, our service life, our uh, our constitutional position, yeah. Yeah. easy, yeah. easy, yeah. easy, <laughs> and we make us strong and pure. Yeah. As Prabhupada say, the purity is the is the force that he can conquest the heart of the. Of the humanity. Our now <laughs> bhajan is day by day, with our example, <coughs> living in the bhajan and sankirtan, living action. And whatever we do, in according to our Barnasham bar. Prabhupada formalized very well that if we don't constitute the pure Varnasham Dharma, that's the big problem. Society is in complete Maya. <coughs> Varnasham Dharma established the purity step by step. step. <coughs> The process is like this. It's an eternal process. It's not a, 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 pres- a, pro- a process of 500 years ago, 10,000 years ago, 100, 1 billion years ago. That's the process of a constitution of the constitution. What Sri Pat mentioned... Create from who? Who created everything? Krishna. What Sri Pat mentions here is very interesting. He says the cause that the, of the, cause. the senses who were dwelling within the body and is not listening to each other, causing a disturbance and being the enemy, means that we have to spiritualize our material senses. So how we spiritualize our material senses when we engage them in devotional service? So. In the verses before it was mentioned, every sense, the tongue, the ears, the nose, the eyes, and even the lower senses can be engaged in devotional service, and then they are not longer our enemy. 
They become our friend because we are engaging them in devotional service and those they will not cause any disturbance in executing our bhajan. And also we are leading this all sen- among the five, ten senses. The most important one is mind. mind. So, if mind controlled or mind is one pointed, automatically senses follow. So automatically. Yeah, automatically. So, therefore, Guru Dev is saying, thinking, and saying uh, this to just check what kind of object mind dwells. And then, if Radha Moha is there inside, and then if, if Bhakti is there, is we can go spiritual life, but if we have material thing in inside, then it may be obstacle. Because our spiritual body is mentally conceived, and we are performing our seva, within the mind. So therefore I think the mind is the most important sense to be, to engage in emotional service. Actually, Raga Bhajan, Raga Nuga Bhajan is engaging mind in spiritual way, to meditate with Raga Mohan's leader, or sometimes Rupa, Guna, Nama, Dupa, Guna, and Dira, or Seva. And what you mentioned, Varnashram, Dharma, Varna, and Ashram are to be rightly situated in the right place so that we can we can perform uh, easily our bhajan. Right. But it's a material thing, Varnashram. Yes. It's material. Yes. It is only that you are situated in the right way so that you can do your spiritual life very peacefully. Yeah, more, yeah, more easy. But the main thing is the internal you know, process. Practice, yes. Practice. And you step by step achieve it. By serving, love is coming. If I serve you every day, Joanna, as a friend, you, be, you, you will love me or not? Of course I love you. I love you too. Yeah. When we say I love you, I love you too. Mm-hmm. What does it mean? That you, you, we are in the bhajan. Spiritual. Yeah. That is the love, the serving. In your constitutional position, that in the Vasharnapa, you are a Brahman, right? In your constitution. That is the external. But internal, you are not Brahmana, you are not Kshatriya, you are not Vaishya, you are nothing. You are the spiritual soul, the servant of the God, of Krishna, or Radha Krishna, or Radha Mohan, or Radha Madhava, or Radha whatever you want. No, you know we, my point? Yeah, true. That's true. But uh, we, are, we are Radha Dasi. We try to be. <laughs> no, but this is how you can tell to the people that you outside the world that you are Radha Dasi. What you can understand. No, we, we can say in the Western country we are Mary Radha, Rasa, uh, Mary Virgin Mary, servant. Yes. Is, is the same concept? Is absolute? If you are Mary Dasi or Radha Dasi, is it the same love? Radha, what does it mean? Love, right? We are, we are, we are servant of Radha. Uh, and Mary, what is? <coughs> Mother of Jesus, what is? Love. love. He gives love to everybody. Yes. In the form of what? Of a bhajan. You, you pray, you serve, and Mary appear to you. Radha appear to you. Who is Mary? Maria. Maria. Jesus. Mother of Jesus. La mamma di Gesù. Is Radha? How much love give Ma- Maria Maddalena to all thousand disciples they were in the Jesus time. They were to go Jesus. Give to Maria Maddalena, uh, to Mary, my mother. Mother, I am your son. And everybody was in love. And rather, the same. Only the custom, the tradition, the paraphernalia can change. 
but the essence of loving you can make in a different form in different situations so that is right we are now in Vrindavan we are like in the inner circle we can discuss this very intimate thing that we are Radhasi and how we perform our service within that we are Radhadasis and we are performing our seva within the Kunja. This is a very intimate thing that we can discuss in the Dhaven, in our very intimate association. And when we are out of Vrindavan, it is good when we talk <coughs> about the soul and the body, about more basic things to the devotees, and with time and slowly, slowly, Uh, if they are make more advancement in spiritual life, we can go to the more elevated subjects. Right. But it is also possible in the West, we can also talk, if people are receptible of that. So we have to adjust also our level of kata to the circumstances. It depends in what circle that we are. But here in Vrindavan, it comes like spontaneously because we are already here in the Kunja. And also Srila Prabhupada mentioned, don't go directly to the ten canto, because the people are being confused. Upside down. I told my husband, oh, we should read, and he said, no, 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 no. We start from the first canto because he's old is gone school. So you go <laughs> elementary school, one. you don't study but a scientist so when you are five years old. The canto from beginning ah. of his preaching in America, he gave from beginning ten canto. Show ah. Prabhupada because it's his essence. Yeah, this is also I, re- I remember says. I remember a video <laughs> where those disciples sitting and love feast yeah. and someone making movie. And I remember someone who is just few weeks where two weeks where in this association he's explaining we are Gopi la 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 la. He is t- telling about uh, he is telling on the base of Saint Canton, yeah. Rajalila. And the last time, Mahanidhi Mana Gopare, Maharaj prayed, one devotee asked, My Guru Dev says, Don't. Don't read ah, intense canto with Shri Vata Bhagavad. Yeah, you know, some is from Guru. My Guru Dev also. So, and then, and then, at the beginning I'm talking, yeah. So, so, and then, then Mahatma Baba said, When I joined Iskong, Mahatma Baba said, Then when I joined Iskong, at that time, at that time, at that time, every morning, every, every evening, Утро, We are reading the tenth canto of Bhagavatam, Krishna book. <laughs> And one more, Sri Narayana Goswami Maharaj taught all my books for all people. All. Oh. Gopi Gita, mm. Raghavat Machadrika, Venu Gita. Oh, he taught all my books for all people. You can distribute on the street. Mm. Because you know what is the point if you don't hear about uh, Rasa Lila, and all the intimate pastimes, how we can remember it, how we can take part in the Leela, so we have to hear it, so that we can remember it, also when we are performing our bhajan. Yes, and if without, he, without hearing, listening, we have no greed, no desire to enter. And we can let not develop taste for it. So for this reason it's very important to hear about this. And yes. also Shukadeva Goswami said, ten I think that is three chapters, three chapters three some bus. Yeah. Hearing <coughs> the pastime of Radha and Krishna, especially Rasa Lila, if we hear proper source, the all our material desire will, will finish. It's mentioned. And so Narayana Samaraj taught the verb which is using by Shukadeva Sami in this verse, telling you must hear from proper source, you must hear, not if you will hear, not, it's written, it's, it's uh, order, you must hear.
because they want that we develop taste for it, a higher taste, so that we will forget about the lower taste. And also Shona Rana Gassam Maharaj told, not possible to stop the stream of bhakti. Bhaktan Sarasat Thakur Prabhupada prohibited to sing in Gaudiya Mat Yashamati Nandana, but now everyone in Gaudiya Mat is singing Yashamati Nandana. So, this is the evidence, the stream of bhakti not possible to stop. And uh, I remember one past time Prabhupada. I think 1969 or 70, that kind of year. And uh, Krishna book appeared. I think some devotee bring Prabhupada Krishna book first, first, first edition. I don't know, around 1970. I think that is a festival time. And then Papa said, and then watching. Who want? Who want? Who want? Yes, I want to yeah, but then he's to be. Oh, it's just special from his book. First, first thing, how to say. Okay. I don't know. If, you know, he's asking money, but I think he, he does not ask money. I remember one remembrance. <coughs> Probably 90, no, 2014. At that time, Gurudeva started reading Radhana Sasdaniti. I think 2013, December. Here. Yes. And then at that time, this book is very rare. Kanandas Baba Radha Rasta Sendir and Pirapak Sumanji is very rare. I remember in the temple only one book for two books. Of course, I don't have it. You remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. And then, then some devotee bring Radha Rasta Sendir and I don't know, Pirapak Sumanji was some book. Two kinds of books. And maybe each ten or you know something. And, and then bring to the the, the Guru Dev. Then I was thinking, oh my god, this is very rare book. I do it, I did it, I was thinking. And then Guru Dev was distributing his disciples. Oh you you want to <laughs> this? Then I was thinking. Oh, this is only for his disciple. At that time, oh, I'm not a disciple. Maybe, fe maybe, maybe February. Uh, <coughs> maybe January, February. I don't know. Maybe March sometimes. And then. Close to Gora Purnima time. Yeah. Maybe before Gora Purnima. And then. He gave it to me. Wow. <laughs> Actually, not one book, two books he gave. In this way, he recognized us, his disciple. <laughs> then I was shocked, you know. This baby there book. In Brindava also, at that time, maybe difficult to get this book. Only Radha <coughs> Then he gave me two books. I was completely shocked. Oh, I give him this book. This is the same word of Prabhupada I felt. They're not asking you any money. Oh, if you, if, oh, you want to, you want to have this book? Yeah, you like this. So Prabhupada was at from beginning. Krishna book come. That's new by devotee. He get it. So this is incredible. And that natural devotion. Krishna book and natural devotion. They go together. Powerful. Yeah. And loving. Yes. I remember when I read uh, Krishna book from the beginning, then I just actually I started to read this book before coming to his con. And when I read, the first question has come to the mind, my mm -hmm. mind, where I am in Vrindavan? What, where, where is my position in Vrindavan? And the first question come to me really? when, I, yeah, when I started to read this book. 
But I not found this answer for this question. But anyway, I read. Ear by ear, these devotees were read this book every evening before going to sleep. They taken milk, the evening milk, I read from this, this book. It was very something special. Once after some years, again reading this book, a realization came to my heart. Feelings. Oh, everything what I'm reading is reality. It's not just fairy stories, it's reality. And I won't be in this reality. This desire come. I read ear by ear. <laughs> and after this, so many good things happened with me. Mm. Very soon I found Shilnaran Gasai Maharaj. Who? Shilnaran Gasai Maharaj. Yeah. First, after this, first time I came to Vrindavan, after this, when this desire came to my heart. I think it was <coughs> Radamoha arranged each devotee and the specific time, specific subject which he had to be. So therefore, you know, we need Prabhupada from beginning. Then, when Prabhupada left his body, then we need someone who guides us. That people may be different. <coughs> For me, like Gora Gomina Swami is my guide after Prabhupada. Then, Gora Gomina Swami Maharaj left his body. Then, my guide was also Shriyanara Beautiful. Then Shri Narayan Mahara left his body. Then my guide, our guide, is Shri Narayan Mahara. So if I think like this, because you know, maybe Madhuranji, you came to directly uh, Sadhu Maharaj, very fortunate. But uh, myself, Radha Charanji, or Prana Maharaji, some other devotee, or Radha Krishna, the, like uh, we are, we have to go through like a, like a Prabhupada right. movement, right? And all this, this all was connected with Shri Prabhupada. For me, I saw it. I, it was a very special happiness for me. What Shri Maharaj in close relationship with Shri Prabhupada, and now Shri Sadhu Maharaj, my Guru Dev, also in close relationship with Shri Prabhupada. He received from him mercy. I don't know. This is a, should I mention here? But uh, you know, I met. Ananda Svaj Maharaj. At that time, my, you know, my choice is Anand, I should go to Ananda Svaj Maharaj or I should stay in uh, Sadhu Maharaj. It's a question arise. And why you like more this? So because it's your choice. You said, yeah, I want to tell you. Yeah. Oh. So that's interesting. <laughs> because it, 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 actually, I have read this Prem Bhakti Chandra. I'm so impressed. Yeah, Ananda Swami Maharaj, you know, kind of realization. But the uh, problem was for me, not his problem, my problem. I cannot communicate with Ananda Swami Maharaj because language problem. What? Language. Language. language, language, language. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't speak Hindi, Bengali. That is my problem, not his problem. And also, I was born like we are Prabhupada children. So therefore. I like to take Shereta Sama who is connecting Prabhupada. This is my nature. Honestly speaking. If someone who is realized, but uh, someone who is opposite Prabhupada, it's difficult to take Shereta. You know, I prefer to, I prefer to take Shereta with some, some you know, connection with Prabhupada. Same. Same. So I, I respect Ananda's body very much. It's my, you know, Shiksha Guru. It's my idea. So, but uh, at that time I was, I, I, I asked my heart, where should I go? Then my answer is, yeah, I stay here. Because of, because of relationship of Prabhupada, also relationship 
Because for me, Paramagurudev, he appeared before Sad Maharaj. Yeah, you saw his picture, no? Yeah, Radha Govinda Das Bhaj Maharaj gave me, you know, internet. Yeah. Not directly, Darshan, but the internet, I saw him. Yeah. My mind was completely attractive. Yeah. Oh, you saw his picture in internet, in some website? Yeah, yeah kind of movie. Ah, там был какой-то фильм про Шерлока Гейнера. А затем в 2012 году. Я думаю, это 2013 году. Он был очень. Then you know, I I know Brindavan 90s Brindavan. I know. Я знаю 80-х годов. But it seems this this scene not 80, maybe 70. Я думаю, что фильм был 80-х, не 80-х. And the kind of realism. Вот такая реализация. And then this sadu is not alive anymore. И я понял, что саду больше уже Because, не you know, different ages саду. Потому что это был саду другой эпохи, другого времени. Не то, что эпохи, другого времени. And he so realized, I could understand, you know, oh my God, if he's there, I should, I, I would go definitely. Я точно отправлюсь туда. At any cost. Любой ценой. But I don't know who is he. Но я не знаю, кто он. So after came to Sad Maharaj Brin, two thousand Sad Brin. Then before there, Paramagurudev the picture was there. This was what this this place. Yeah, this place. Yes. On that place where it is now. This place. This painting was there. Ah, this painting was there. Ah, this painting was there. And then, then I was asking. Who is this sadhu? Я спросил, кто это саду? Don't you know? Ты не знаешь? This sadhu. Это саду. This Radha Govinda Swami. Это Radha Govinda Swami. Radha Govinda Swami. This sadhu Maharaj Guru De. Это Guru De sadhu Maharaj. I was shocked. Я был в шоке. Then, oh, this Radha Govinda Swami guided me. Swami Maharaj привел сюда. Can the realization come? Вот такая реализация ко мне пришла. And also, Sad Maharaj is very friendly. You know, we can talk, and he can respond in English. And also, I heard he has very special connection with the public party. Yes, uh, one time Gurudev told in 75 or 76, he went to Krishna Balaram Mandir and had Darshan, Prabhupada, and then Prabhupada asked him, as his Gurudev said him first that he should preach in the West. And he said, how I can do this? Then he said, go and take the blessings of Prabhupada. He is the expansion of Nikai. So he went there and then he asked Gurudev, who is your Guru? And he said, Radha Govinda Das Babaji Maharaj. And then Prabhupada said to him, you should listen to what he is saying. So Prabhupada knew him also. And I heard that Prabhupada is also was going to Radha Govinda Das Babaji Maharaj to take Yeah, so that's what it is. I guess this is... 1976 He was staying in Bombay sometimes. I know February he stayed in Bhubaneshwar. Because, you know, at that time, he, you know, he went to Goragomila Sai place. Probably, maybe, you know, around that time or after that time. But uh, I think 77, the Prabhupada became very sick after some time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Left, the body Left his body in November. <coughs> November. November. Oh, no, then I was born. Okay. I was born in March. 
Oh, you were the only one who So, and then, I can imagine. I can imagine. 1977 is a very difficult for me to pass up. I was very troubled when I was in Prague. Because many, already many, many disciples, many followers, and uh, actually, Gurudev went and and devotees said, "No, you cannot, you cannot meet Pavlov. Yeah, pass because now he's a GBC meeting." You know, I I can imagine very difficult at that time. I also can understand because I saw same at the end of Shilin Renga Samashvila. More close to his disappearance, more difficult to come to him. I remember like, from beginning, say, 1980, uh, 1990, beginning of 1990, at that time more easy to meet Shilin Renga But uh, after, say, 2000, more than 2000, no, the more difficult to even talk also difficult. Because always like in queue, in disciples queue? waiting. Ah. Mm-hmm. In line. In line. line. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, can I meet it? Then, oh, you know, you have to wait. So, myself, only possibility to talk to Narayan Maharaj's personal is if he came to Japan. Other place, almost nothing. Honestly. So, therefore, this is. Uh, I think divine arrangement to Sadhu Maharaj meet Srila Prabhupada. And then Srila Prabhupada knew also his grandfather when he told him, then he said to him, come here, my nephew, he said. And Srila Gurudev was shocked, like, why he... Maybe grandson, grandson. Grandson, my grandson. And he was like, why he is telling me grandson? Yeah. Because he was good friend of his grandfather. Because Srila Prabhupada was also here around the 30s. The temple was erected, 32. That was also the time when Prabhupada was in Vrindavan for some time. He met, he met Bhaktisiddhanta. They came with Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada in this time too. And this time too. Yeah, true. Maybe he met, he met. Not so many uh, temples. Gaudi Mat, at least not appeared. It's just after this started just building Gaudi Mat in Vrindavan. At that time, many Gosami opposite to Bhaktisiddhanta. Maybe only, maybe Radha Lama. Or maybe, maybe just a few, I guess. <laughs> and also, I was completely shocking to hear when I was in Munger Raj Mandir 2013 14. Because, you know, we are reading every Wednesday uh, Saint of Braja. In, in same day, like now? And then, you know, I was reading at that time, before, maybe around 2000, I have read, maybe 19, end of 1990, I have read Kapo's book, Saint of Buraja and Saint of uh, Bengali. And then I was surprised, Sadhu Maharaj Grandfather met this Sadhu, which book mentioned. <laughs> And, you know, and then even grandfather attended this past time. I was completely shocked. <laughs> Honestly, like, uh, you know, a few days we have met Ramadas Baba. Also, you know, he also came here. And Sadhu Maharaj was kind of, you know, there's so much 
what is it? Water coming from it's eye. Like a slow, slow then Sadhu Maharaj is like, is collecting this water. Sadhu Maharaj is like, So discussing these obstacles, the blessed author says the senses that dwell in our bodies are so many enemies. Nobody obeys anyone. <coughs> the six enemies lust, anger, greed, delusion, pride, and envy always dwell in the human body. <laughs> this is just to be clean. It's in Upadashamrita, Shilo, Rupa Gassami, written by the Ego Manasakro, the Ego. She's telling that person who is seated with six Vegas, six, I don't know what's in English, Vegas, desires, very strong desires. That, that person can be teacher for everyone in this world, with him, Sashishyat. And I thought, how it possible? Oh must be by very strong intelligence, which is coming through hearing. It's also true, but that person is sleeping, intelligence becomes weak, he couldn't control his uh, mind. Sometimes some other simple senses in life can be in such way, but intelligence also will be weak. No, for example, protection of devotees. It was my own, own case when I spent seven and a half months in hospital in Russia. I was not protected by devotees. I was alone. And then I found in this uh, same book, in verse 5, how it's coming. Mm. It's coming due to prema, not by intelligence. Only prema can control everything, because prema can control Krishna. It's not by intelligence. This verse not about Madhyama Dikari. Pride. Prema can oh, subdue everyone, <laughs> everything, all enemies become friendly if Prema come in. And also I heard from him <laughs> the other show. time. Shri Narayan Maharaj does not endeavor to control all these things. Yeah. Just he, he, he tried to try to serve his Guru Dev. Just he wanted to please Guru Dev, serve Guru Dev, only he could control all these six things. I heard he, he's telling in, in his book, he's telling once he found, Shonalika Samaraj found, but he has some, some more inclinations, more kinds to the ladies, even to the men. And he come to his Guru Dev, Bhakti Pradyan Keshuga Samaraj, and openly told, I found this in my heart. This means for me not equality, yeah. not samadarshanat. I'm more inclined to the ladies. Mm. Please help me. I won't be equal to everyone. Mm. And due to prayers of she, his guru, it was changed. <coughs> he told, Shilder and Gassamraj told about this. No, oh, due to mercy of Guru Dev, yeah. change. It's, about ju it's just evidence what you're telling. Mm. By service, by the mercy. Can you repeat, please? Mm. The, the, the sentence. Yeah. Um, the senses that dwell in our bodies are so many enemies. Nobody obeys anyone. The six enemies last, anger, Greed, delusion, pride, and envy always dwell in the human body. The human race, which has fallen in the ocean of birth and death, has fallen into the powerful grip of these six crocodile-like enemies. 
and is being constantly chewed and munched by them. It's, it's reminds the story of one elephant which is fighting in the uh, lake with crocodile because that crocodile eating him. It's happened until this elephant offer the flower. It's the last moment offer the flower to the lotus feet of Lord and surrender him in this way. And then it will was stopped. Oh, this Gajendra story. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to do. Like uh, we are, for the moment, we are kind of fighting with the our senses, senses and you know, kind of fighting Maya. Of course, we are not fighting, but you know, we are facing it with Maya. But our mind is one point to take shelter, Lana Then automatically, this enemy is subdued. I think also this because of prema. Or because of mercy. Same. Prema is mercy. Yeah, that's true. Prema equal you know, prema equal mercy, that's maybe true. Because mercy means compassion. Mm. Then compassion and uh, Prema is very similar. Because uh, compassion means the feeling, as I feeling, I also feel. I share your feeling. Mm. If you're suffering, I also, yeah, I also take your yeah. suffering yeah. for you. This love also same. Love means, okay, I share my, your feeling. If you are happy, I am also happy. If you are not happy, I am also not happy. I want to help you, like this kind of mentality. So therefore, the true prema and mercy is quite similar to me. And the prema is block and clean the inside, the ego, that he has envy, the Maya, no? The Maya has envy, greed, delusions, illusion, delusions, lust, lust jealousy, <laughs> possessivity, attachments. All this has to be clean as we clean our, our house in morning time. Wow. Otherwise, virus and bacteria is coming. Mm-hmm. And they <laughs> beat you. <laughs> and this beat it is our illusion yeah. that yeah, we are not in Prema. Yeah. I, I, illusion is to see something separate, Sabi. separate from the prema. The brain. Then, if I'm thinking, is this my karma? Is mean I not believe in my shtadevata? I'm separate from prema. This is illusion. According to Shrimad Bhagavatam, second chapter, chapter Shloki Bhagavatam. If I believe I'm suffering due to my karma, is mean I'm an illusion. Hey, what is your, our karma, for example? Oh, if I, huh. people thinking I'm suffering because of karma, that is also... It's my feeling. It's my feeling. This means I am illusion. I'm not developing my relationship with my Shtadevata. I'm not de- uh, developing my Svarupa. Wow. 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 wow, that also true. And that is the mercy of Srimati Radharani, that she came as Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Krishna and gave Chaitanya. us this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra that we are chanting all the time so that we can clear the mirror of our heart. We can clean out all these unwanted things within the heart who were accumulated for millions and millions of lives that we have performed all these things so that the heart can become clear, clean and pure and we begin to see that we are a soul and we are not all these things and the senses and the body and the mind. That is, that is the causeless mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mm-hmm. who brought Harinam from the spiritual world to us fallen conditioned souls so that it's some hope will be there that we can achieve something mm-hmm. in our life. And as you mentioned in the beginning, this is a very rare thing because this happens only once in the life of Brahma. 
So this is a very, very big span of time. Nobody can imagine how long that is. That are so many numbers. And also interesting is that yesterday I was thinking, what is the parampara? This big succession. You make this question to yourself. Yeah. And then this Purana Parabhaji is saying my conclusion like this. So this is Mahaprabhu give us holy name, which is most powerful, it's non different with brother and more. So this parampara give us this very special gift for conditional soul to get divine love. And the parampara when start? Hmm? Who, who is the, the head of the parampara? Actually, head is, you know, we can say different way. People say Krishna. But actually, I think Radha Mohan. Especially, you know, our parampara, especially love parampara, love, love, you know, prema, especially raga parampara, braja, braja, braja prema parampara. I think this start, I think, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Bhagavad Gita, what is this? Me, this is mean from Shrimati Radhika. Because, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Shrimati Radhika and, 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 and Radhika Mohan. That is our Gaudiya Vaishnava Parampara. Yes. And because before that, of course, you know, Madhavendra Puri, Ishwar Puri, you know, they have, but uh, generally speaking, before that, most of the time, like, kind of, kind of, why did prominent? Or Vishnu worship, Narayan worship is more prominent. In other yuga. Yeah, or like before Mahaprabhu. Before Mahaprabhu. Or Aishwarya, Aishwarya Baba is more prominent. But after Mahaprabhu, it's completely changed, kind of. Because this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is a Madhurya Ras Mantra. Yeah, actually, Gurudev said this is Radhika's mantra. Also, Yugala mantra. Yugala mantra. Yes. yes. We have very unique explanation, yes. commentary on Mahamantra from our choice. In, in verse 55, Shira Sadiqi, for me it's most unique what I found. 55? Yeah, Shiradar Siddhaniti, which what is, um, is this explain, Ananda Zobji Maharaj explained how this mantra comes to the heart of Srimati Radhika and the time of separation, of your separation with her beloved. Which verse? 55, Shiradar Siddhaniti. Shiradar Siddhaniti, 55. It's for me most secret, most intim, 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 intim explanation of uh, Mahamantra. Yeah. Okay. And also, Gurudev is stressing, Hare Shaman Mahamantra is Rama, is not Rama Chandra, is not Vararam. This is Yugara, Radha Mohan, meet together, you know, past time together, kind of, this is Yugara. Otherwise, we cannot go Madhura. I read it, it's so secret. <laughs> when I read first time, I read for partic up to particular point and I found I'm not ready to read more. I read close. And then I read with, together with all the devotees here. And then I found it, I, I received some very unique, very, very sweet impression when I read with the devotees here. Or oh, maybe could you read, share this, this, this 50 it's, it's very 55. secret. It's, which it's, you are thinking is very important. It's, it's important, but it's important from the point of view how she Radhika so merciful to her maid servants. She opened everything to them. Mm. From this point of view, when I read this. Ah. But it's it's really secret. Mm. 
In Russian, it's very easy to find because it's points, points. It's names and what this name means in Mahamantra. Here, I couldn't find here. It's needed to. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Then, 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 okay. Maybe. Maybe. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Oh, she doesn't like it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, go, go, go. So beautiful. Um. Sorry. <laughs> Which page? <laughs> They are so just crocodile like enemies mm. are extremely powerful and stubborn. Mm. If the human senses become attracted to mundane sounds flavors, form, forms, etc. Then the learning of the learned is lost. And the intelligence of the intelligent is lost. Hmm. What he said. Wow. So where he come from, what he said, from there. And then where he come from, from here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Where it comes all this knowledge? From the supreme knowledge. Then many yoga is the same situation. We are all here. When Krishna said, <laughs> I am the supreme. He said, Bhagavad Gita, right? If you think to me, if you live with me, you will have the mercy if, through my Parampara Association. Mm -hmm. Because the Parampara Association mm -hmm. is the purity of the knowledge mm -hmm. that the Lord Krishna mm -hmm. gives to the world, mm -hmm. to Arjun. In Arjun, we are all Arjun. <laughs> How we control the sales? Is there? Is here. This is the sunk. Yes. Next sentence, the moon, he said there, yeah, what he said that? The moon then sank, here's the real song. Otherwise, if we are in, this, in the sense of the mundane illusion, here's the Bhagavan Gita. What does it mean, Bhagavan? Krishna. Gita, the chanting. So that's the bhajan. To live in the bhajan, is to live with Krishna or Radha Krishna. Radha Krishna. Not me. <laughs> Radha Krishna. Because here Prabhupada explain everything. Here is the base of start loving each other. Here is the constitution of all the world, all the universe, all the planets. Here is the secret and the mystery. When the church said, faith of a mystery, they say in the Catholic Church, that's here. Okay, 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 okay. okay. In the Chaitanya Shemri, there is another mystery, the sweetness of the loving. Here is the preparation for all the constitution, all universe, in this moment, in this present, in all universe, they are chanting. Yes. The name of the Radha and Krishna. Wow. The loving. And only the king, Saint King, they can protect their citizen from the <coughs> anger, <coughs> jealousy, possessivity, all the material enjoyments, only a king. With the help of a Brahmana, they have the true and the purity. Varna uh, uh, Radha Krishna Prabhu. The Maharaj, king, mm. great king, means, I heard a very nice definition, that person who is so, in so much ananda, blissful uh, ah. state of consciousness because of complete absorption in Radha Krishna Lila. Ah. And this shining which is coming from him, create protected 
84 hours. He is a king. Yeah. And Krishna spoke by in his heart to Vivasvan, God's son, and God's son to his king, to his son, Ishvak, who was a king, the first king on this universe, in this planet, or in this universe, as we say. In the material universe, because there is a spiritual universe. <coughs> and we are in the middle. <coughs> this is the universe. This is in the middle of the spiritual world. Vaikunt, Golok, Chaitanya. Whatever, there are thousand logs. If uh, this knowledge of our lovely Radha Krishna is not guided by a pure devotee and a pure king, a Shatri. Remember the Mahabharat, the Kuru and the Pandava. The Pandava, it was a family, Krishna family. The Kuru was also of Krishna family. But there were so many poison, there were many envy, there were many jealousy, there were many, many, many illusions that the same king Dhritarast, he tolerate his son Durudan. The world, when more Durudan they are, more illusion, and they lose Krishna. And the Pandava, with no army, with no money, but with faith in Krishna. After year, years and years of exile, the true, the justice, <laughs> and the loving, he was there. But because we were cleaning in the heart, Durudan and all the other relative friends, put the situation in a war with our serpenti, egoism, envy. What is the Kurukshetra? Kurukshetra is the battlefield of our life. You want to stay with Krishna or you want to stay with Maya? Maya is what? All the illusion, all the senses, like this. With Krishna is like this. Mm -hmm. At the end of the Gita, what Krishna say? And Danjaya say. Not Krishna. Because Krishna he doesn't say anything. He, he just try to harmonize the situation. Thank to you. make them understand. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I will I'll finish. I will make the conclusion of the Gita. Okay. Okay. At the end, at the beginning is the relation. The fire relation. At the end of the battlefield, of our battlefield, at those times, uh, last to say, I, I want to read it because I like to read it. I know it in memory, I know all the Bhagavad Gita in memory, but I want to read. As you read. Mm. Okay. <coughs> Where there? Ah, huh. oh king, when I remember the wonderful form of the Lord Krishna, I'm struck with even greater wonder. And I rejoice again and again. Whatever there is Radha and Krishna, it's not sweet Radha and Krishna. And I see the secret. The mystery is, is there. When there is Krishna, the master of all mystics, and whatever is Arju, the supreme archer, there will also certainly opulence, victory, and a strong power and morality. That is my opinion. Sanjaya said. That's the, the conclusion and the new era. The illusion is the when the sun goes down. The light when the, the rise. 
to renew him. And this message is eternal. We don't need. Because we are Krishna, what is it? Me and you are Jew. We always exist. We never cessiamo di esistere. We never finish to exist. Exist. We never end to exist. Me and you. We always be friends. Because our friend eternal ship is there. So this was to make it clear that we are eternal living beings. Eternal. So without beginning and without end. And so because if you are eternal, then we are a sparkle huh? of the Supreme. Of course we are eternal. And eternally is past times. Is here. Yeah. Beautiful. It's finished. And show your opulence. It's opulence, victory, joy, and what else? And if we continue here, yes. uh, it will speak. Here, also we will here, talk about all this, this is saying, this Acharya. They have their opinion, but here is everything. So now, now mention Arjuna. Yeah. Okay, we, we continue. Humankind is beautiful. can never save itself from its grip on its own strength. So we cannot do it alone. We need the Guru, we need the association to help us to pull us out from the ocean where the crocodiles are coming and, <laughs> and chewing us. It's because to cross the ocean of material existence is a very difficult thing to do. So we cannot do by ourselves. We need the help. So that means we must, we must Take shelter on the lotus feet of Gurudev. Take shelter uh, on uh, Vrindavan Dham. Take shelter of the Dham. Vrindavan. Uh, what do we take say shelter. in English for Dham? Like abode is home. A abode. A abode. A abode. Mm -hmm. abode. Krishna, Krishna the home. Yeah. Motherland of Krishna. And motherland Krishna is also in your heart. <laughs> so Vrindavan is everywhere. Yeah. Not it's not the location, but it's in your heart. It's a testimonial of your loving or not loving. It's a testimonial of your, your illusion or not illusion. That's why it's eternal, and we are eternal. So wake up. Jim Jago. Don't sleep in the clutch of the Maya. Wake up in the morning at 3 o'clock. Fresh air, <coughs> pure air, prime. <coughs> Meditate in the Lord. Okay. Now comes Arjun. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me only what uh, the meaning of ashram? What is the meaning? It's not seven years. Ashram means place for peaceful life. Ah. Means, I don't know how it's called. In, know, ashram is a place where it's we protected, talk about God place, and Krishna protected, and devotee. That is a is an hotel. But, Protected place. Protected, protected place. Protected by, by God. Sadhu, oh, by yeah. Fakurji. It's oh. protected place. Nice. Sorry. Okay. Nice. By yeah, love, actually. I <laughs> want to be protected so Arjuna asks, from my friends. Arjuna asks Shri Krishna. That's the beauty. Gita, Gita, Gita. 3.36 Gita. 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 Oh Krishna. Oh, Krishna. Through what I are people forcibly engaged in sin? <laughs> Through what are people forcibly engaged in sin, even outside their own will? Mm -hmm. To this Shri Krishna answered, O oh, Arjuna, it is lust, it is anger. <coughs> they spring forth from the mundane mode of passion, are very difficult to satisfy and extremely horrible know them to be the enemies of the world. Some people take the word karma or lust, so it's not karma, it's karma. Karma. It's very similar, so it's not karma, it's karma or lust. 
simply to mean the desire of men and women to meet each other. And although this narrow interpretation is certainly correct, in a broader sense, karma means desires for sense gratification. Not only lust in its grossest form, it is in general for sense gratification. In other words, material desire. Material desire for anything to have. <coughs> when, these, when these desires are obstructed or thwarted, and they, they say obstructed it's or transformed. Mm -hmm. transformed. <laughs> they turn into anger. Mm. So one becomes angry when he cannot gratify his material senses. Yes. Or he, did, yeah, he does not get what he wants. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like, a mm. child, like a child, they become angry. Okay, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit... <laughs> no, but the child is But they pure. become angry. I want this. I'm yeah, angry sure. also later, but... Yeah, we are not uh, yeah. different so. because the children are in more innocent. So. <laughs> but they have well, also this anger to, actually, to manifest. Actually, this angry also frustration is very yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. angry not just uh, when I am coursing someone. It's uh, It can appear in different form. Yes. Like yeah. a party, for example. So that, yeah. that Guru Dev said, inside, outside is, is conflicting. So even even someone who become devotee that is still you know many desires they are still and sometimes you know the desire could not fulfill by the by other devotee or by guru sometimes become devotee become angry or frustrated. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, but today. And so we should. And why they, they are frustrated, Mother? Hmm? Why they are frustrated? Because of desire. Ah. But, you know, that because of they have material desire or some expectation there. You know, if we, we have some expectation to the wife, husband, children, or guru, or other devotee. If that expectation does not okay, fulfill, so yeah. then we are frustrated, we become angry. Why, why this devotee cannot do for me? Why Guru Dev does not do, you know, say to me? So that means when we are on the material platform, all these things uh, are causing suffering yes. for us. And yes. we are suffering. Yes. Yeah. We are external, we say, I'm a devotee. <laughs> But inside we have still material desire, but this kind of enemy. Then we are sometimes influenced. Then frustrated and, uh, and angry. Jananji, once Shilmaranga Samaraj told, he told, first of all, you must find the way how to overcome this. Angerness. Because he told, always this angerness always will destroy everything what you're doing. Again and again. And he told, the main way how to overcome this feeling is the other feeling. I'm so grateful. Thanks. Thanks. Everything which is coming, I see as a mercy of my Shadavata. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Everything. So if we are humble, any any problem also we can accept the mercy. Then we are peaceful. But if we have any expectation, then we are frustrated when we become angry. That is the reality. Expectation is because Maharaj is is a conditional love. Yes. But if you have if you expect if you are friends. Me and you, okay? okay. You expect, and you start our friendship. We start, huh? Mm. Personally. Mm. What's happening? Then if we have, you know, expect something, ah. and then feel, feel, oh, I don't like... Oh, 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 o
If I want to sell you something and I want to become a friend for selling you something, mm. that's a co- material consciousness. Yeah. I'm material consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sell you something to be diplomatically. I want to sell you something yeah. diplomatically because I, you are a rich man. I want to become your friend yeah. so I can exploit you. True. Your friendship. You yes. understand? That's his condition. Yes, this is my condition. But if I'm your friend, you are a plurimillionaire. I'm so happy that you are plurimillionaire. I'm your friend. But if you are a millionaire and I want to make a condition to become your millionaire friend, means, what means? It's easy. That I want your interest. It's not pure love, our friendship. Yeah, I want to be... And that's why conflict, contract, you have to put a contract. We have to rent the house, contract, because you don't have faith in me, you don't trust me. So in the material world, everything is to be in contract. Yes. In the spiritual world, is love, and we love. I shake your hands. Yes, whoa. You, you give me one million euro. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, hey, I will no, give no, you no, back give next you. year. <laughs> because you're friends, yeah, and you yeah. love me, yeah, yeah. and I love you, yeah. you will return. <laughs> If you are not friends, you will not return. You enjoy. Bye bye. <laughs> you see, no, that, that, that is Sankirtan. When I do Sankirtan, my dear, I do anticipation loving uh, movement, movements. I know that sometimes devotees become a little bit shocked by my personality, but diversity. Everybody is diverse. Say, say strange. You are stranger. Yes, because you are not stranger. Because you have a diversity. You have a diversity quality. If you our quality we put in the service of the Lord, of Radha Mohan, or Radha Krishna, or Radha Wed, or the Guru, okay. is spiritualized. Yes. Isn't it, Prabhu? È vero così? No, perché tu sei un bravo filosofo. Okay. Okay, go. <laughs> And you hold the serpent goes. The, why, ladies, they don't need to study the scripture? Because they have so much love. Radharani never studied one scripture. <laughs> they write about her. They write about Krishna, but they never write. So taught is a pure Guru Dev. They make the comment. And Prabhupada was the purest. Why Prabhupada made so many devotees of Krishna or, or Radha Krishna in the, in, in the West? Because for his purity, he has no business to do with Krishna, with the people. He went there, I'm loving you, I'll give you this. When I go Sankhita, you know what I say? My lovely friend, yes. this is a gift for you. Thank you. Okay. I don't want anything. What? It's for you. It's my love for you. Okay. You, should, you give me money. No, I don't. Protect your family with your money. Do your ashram, your varnasha. I don't want anything. No, but he, he didn't ask anything. He give. And all the world receive it. Should we continue? Yeah, sure. sure. This is when I go theater. Sorry, sir. Yes. When I go my theater, yes, yeah. it's this yeah, yeah. one. And that's why people have, they give me books, money, whatever I want, I can take. For the name of the Lord, not for me. I don't need anything. I buy everything. <laughs> I eat. I breathe. <coughs> Thank you. I offer. Okay. No property. <coughs> okay. I have no words anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, Arjuna. <laughs> no property. Okay, no, we were my, we stopped. My um, in my soul. In my so soul. when these desires <laughs> are obstructed <laughs> or thwarted, they turn into anger. Mm-hmm. Therefore, mm-hmm. lust and anger are actually one. Okay, Therefore, the above mentioned verse is in the single tense, although two things are mentioned in it. Not only anger, but also the other four enemies greed, delusion, pride, and envy are different forms of lust. When that lust becomes attracted to the best enjoyable things and the greatest wealth, it is called greed. 
And when lusty desires make mankind attached to perishable and temporary matters that stop them from realizing their constitutional position, or if it covers over their spiritual knowledge, it is called moha or delusion. So delusion means that we are no longer in illusion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that right? It's correct. Could you say again? Is that correct? Delusion means that we are not longer in illusion. Yeah, but I don't understand because no. it's negative. No. Actually, I think yeah. this is no. Illusion, delusion, very illusion. similar word. Uh -huh. yeah. Because this yeah. says yeah. moha. Moha. This moha. moha means kind of we may translate illusion or delusion kind of similar words. Because, you know, moha means we could not see reality because of covering. Yes, okay. this is it. The real illusion. Like when you are in a space. You think that it's actually... You don't see it well. You don't see it. You don't see it. You don't see it. You don't see it. Positive. Ah, bravo. Ma così illusionato. Ecco, è quella la coscienza. La materia le passa sui due. Then again, if this delusion or ignorance assumes the form of self-esteem, like I am a rich man. I am an honorable man. I'm a doctor, man. Then this is called Mada or pride. And Mada, it reminds me of mad, like yeah. the English word mad. <laughs> no, 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 same meaning. <laughs> because, you know, if, if someone who has pride yeah, yeah, yeah. become mad, intoxicated, right. therefore this Mada means sometimes uh, uh, pride, sometimes intoxication, sometimes too much intoxication, it becomes crazy. So they, sometimes they translate different ways. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. We also see that the real Mada is the root of Mada. Mm -hmm. Okay, if this self-esteem considers that the wealth and reputation of others crushes the pride of one's own, then that kind of agitation of the heart or intolerance is called matsarya, para shri katarata or envy. <coughs> this is an extremely wild and disgusting mentality and forms the greatest obstacle to bhakti or bhajana. Prabhupada was mentioned. We want to make non-envious society. Because this enviousness is a kind of symptom of material consciousness. And uh, someone who is spiritual consciousness and someone who is shadow, no envy, no competition, or even no argument. <laughs> Because when you are loving, then you cannot be envy. Yeah. Why you should be envy? Because you are rich to love. Yeah. So that will become specifically clear later. In this way, the six enemies that are such, you say sturdy or sturdy, sturdy obstacles? I don't know this also. This word I don't know. Sturdy. That are strong obstacles to the practice of bhajana and 
concomitant realization of the constitutional self of the living entity that are actually Shri Krishna's eternal servants reside within within the human body particularly within the knowledge acquiring senses and active senses. So, Gandhi uh, Chananji said, first, you know, Upadesha Murita, first battle. If someone who conquers the six enemies, he can, he can take disciples all over the world. That's a Rupa Goswami to Because if we conquer this enemy, or if we don't have this enemy, means pure. And some of who is a kind of pure Vaishnava, they are servant of Radhika. And then this, this six enemy comes, covers our dear Swarupa, our, our dear spirit. <coughs> but actually, if Kaba is gone, then everything is favorable. So therefore, to, to conquer this six enemy, I feel we need the help of someone who does not have it. It means Guru Dev or Shuddha Bajna. It's interesting uh, what I understood here, what does it mean pure? It means unalloyed. No other moods, but the God of Talents trying. It means you living in your own nature. No other nature is coming in you. What does it mean purity? You are completely yourself. This mean purity. That purity means we say spiritual nature, real spiritual nature, or spiritual form. This is called swarupa. If yeah, someone who knows or someone who realizes and fix one point, we have a spiritual, we have spiritual soul, we have a spiritual body, we have a spiritual relationship with Radha Mohan and one particular rasa. That person does not affect all these six enemies because he is fixing in spiritual. spiritual. I think that's called bhakti. <laughs> So service rendered to Rishikesha, the Lord of the Senses, <laughs> is called devotion. This, this is um, a uh, famous definition of bhakti from Narada Pancharatra. Saropadi means to lift all false identification. Means, for example, I'm a Russian. Or I'm a weak lady, I couldn't do this. Or oh, I'm fearful because there's always Sarupadi, which has become an obstacle inside of us yeah. to do service. We are all our own obstacles. No, I'm too much shy, I could not, I could not. Yeah. Always an excuse. How can I come I'm in front of Sadhu? I'm too shy, I'm a lady, I could not. And this feeling up becomes obstacle, obstruct yeah. us from the mercy, from the right. our good fortune. This is so true. That has been elaborately described in the commentary on the previous Tripadi. What is Tripadi in English? Tripadi is like a bus. Verse. Bus. I Previous Tripadi, because I read it all the time. The senses of the conditioned souls that are averse to Sri Krishna since beginningless time 
are naturally inclined towards the sense, the sense object. Their eyes are absorbed in seeing senses of worldly, worldly beauty. The ears are thirsty to hear the world's greatest songs as well as non-sensual gossip. The tongue is greedy after the savor of the greatest sweets. The nose is eager to smell the most exquisite scents and the skin is very eager to touch the softest and most blissful objects. The active senses are as much absorbed in enjoying their favorite sense objects as the knowledge acquiring senses are. The speech is engaged in speaking worldly topics and gossip. The hands and feet are experts in performing all kinds of worldly duties and the genitals are absorbed in enjoying sex. From beginningless time, the senses of the conditioned souls who are averse to Shri Krishna have been floating on a current towards the sense object. And the strikes of these enemies, like lust, that reside within the body, has increased their speed and power. When the strikes of these enemies attract the human mind toward the field of sense objects, then even the mind of an intelligent, discriminating person will not be able to block this in, indomitable attraction. It's like drama inside. <coughs> the mind created drama, very emotional drama. He, for example, uh, someone telling some words to us, mm -hmm. and he show us, oh, to, he, no, he showed to the soul in negative way, mm -hmm. and started to fight with this means he created enemy which does not exist and started to fight with this enemy and the soul completely attracted to this drama inside of what of is ourselves. going inside mm -hmm. yeah conflict which is inside the soul not the mind yeah. not this drama not involved in not this involved. drama but because it's like we're going to the cinema yeah. and looking and completely forgetting who we are in this world and starting to identify it with someone who is where in the screen. Mm -hmm. It's like this. Yeah. Mind always always trying to attract the soul, attention of soul to his uh, actions. Mm -hmm. That's happening. This is what I have on the scene what we just read. Mm -hmm. As a result, nobody obeys anyone. <laughs> The enemies, like lust, do not obey the senses. The senses do not obey the mind of the discriminating person. And the mind also does not obey the intelligence. In this way, the independent and unsubmissive enemies and the senses have been dancing within the consciousness of the conditioned soul. Wow. 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 I think we should stop here. It's really wow. But I know it's almost finished. Wow. What is it? Yeah, this is a very... <laughs> 
ビューティフリーエクスプレッシブアワーコンディションつって言って。And you know, I just want to comment. So, in conditioned state of our mind, we are independent, we are unsubmissive. But uh, when we start practicing spiritual life, we need to stop independent nature. And also, we have to stop unsubmissive nature. So we, have to stop the, uh, we, we have to stop independent nature.、Uh-huh. And also, we have to stop unsubmissive nature.、Um, submissive. 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 Unterwürfig. Nicht unterwürfig zu sein wollen müssen wir aufgeben. Das unterwürfig sein wollen. Das heißt, unser Stolz, so quasi. So, therefore, also, wir müssen demütig sein. Genau. genau. Therefore, from spiritual life, we need surrender to the spiritual master. Surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Because if we surrender to the spiritual master, we need to surrender to the spiritual master. Yeah, yeah. Then the influence of internal potency, in,、uh, uh, Swarpa Shakti, Pradin Shakti's influence is coming to us. But、uh, our problem is we are, it seems, you know, we are acting devotee, we are wearing, wearing devotee clothes. But、uh, we are keeping、no. this tendency of independence、no. and u n s u b m i s s i v e Then our, our、uh, spiritual advancement is obstructed or very slow. But, Janandaji, for me it's like Lila. Why? Because I remember when Gurdjieff c o m e from the hospital, for me it was very important. But he will embrace me. And <laughs> when I came to him in front of Takurji, we embraced each other.、Mm. In, in one moment, I thought, okay, I received evidence that he is loving me. And I tried to come out from the embrace. But he not allowed me. <laughs> he more closed him. And then I said, yeah, he really loved me. <laughs> for, me not, for him, it's not formality. Why I'm telling this? Because this not submissiveness, independence, Couldn't be overcome just by intelligence. No. It's only one way love.、Yeah. Love can, can conquer all these、uh, n- tendencies. Only love.、Mm. Then she could have told, in one day, you will see how she might radica love you.、Mm. In this day, it will be so surprised, much more beyond of your expectation. Then you will be completely submissive. It's called Jai. V Jai. Complete victory. Complete. Victory. Then, then I, my, by my own desire, I, I'm、yeah. telling, yes, I'm yours. Now take me. It couldn't be by just、uh, force, by will, like in Ashtanga Yoga. Only by love. Even, and then it's coming by course of time. It's gradually. This is Lila. It's not, it's just you must be in proper situation. That's also a Lila. Also, we are sitting. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of divine arrangement. Divine arrangement. Mystical arrangement. So, by the party, they are doing it, try to find it. Maybe some level, maybe, but、uh, more or less, kind of, little bit forcing power. And Ash-、uh, An- Andaka told me something very miraculous for me,、mm. something very nice,、wow. like medicine for me. Yeah. He came to Shri Gurudev,、mm. and Gurudev told, You know, Andaka, I love you so much. Why? Because you're <coughs> reading in such a way, you completely draw me in this transcendental reality. And Andrika answered, Yes, good, it's my only desire why I'm coming to you. Because I haven't other desires. 
more, all my desires already complete, already fulfilled. Mm. And now I want only one thing, to make you happy. Mm. And then, uh, uh, so Gurdjieff opened one place in Vila Kusmanjil and read commentary. Mm. In this verse, she wrote as Gassami telling to Shemati Radhika, Oh, I'm telling, what I'm crying, how much I want to serve you, be with you. But really, then I go in, out of my Bajan Kutir and speak with local people, I found I completely drown in interest with speaking with I forget in you. I completely in this conversation, in this relationship. And then Andras Babaji Maharaj commenting this. Mm -hmm. Devotee who is staying in Maharaj must see everything what's happened with him just as mercy of Shemati Radhika. Mm -hmm. Relax and openly embrace what's coming to him. And then he will realize how Shemati Radhika is merciful. How she is taking care about him. Beautiful. It's Shil Gurudev read for an Andaka. Wow. wow. Beautiful. Wow. Also, I have read, you know, maybe a little bit different way of express, expression. I читал одно очень детям также высказано несколько по-другому. Raghunath Das was Raghunath. doing so many years bhajan. But Radhika does not appear in Radhika front of him. Sakshad Darshan. Sakshad Darshan. Not happened. So therefore, I am taking shelter of your dearest Kunda, of Radha Kunda. I feel I'm completely unqualified to get your service, direct service. But still, I could not give up hope to be your maid servant. <laughs> and then, crying, crying, and more greed is in, in, increasing. Then, Finally, Radhika <laughs> gave him mercy. In Kanshan, Radhika Dalai almost. I think it's better to explain what of him Sakshad Darshan. Because he had so much visions inside of him in meditation. He saw Shimat Radhika. He saw how he is taking part in Lila serving. Lila means pastimes. He sees pastimes of Shimat Radhika and taking part in these pastimes. But he had desire, more desire. He, he deserved Shemati Radhika coming in front of him, not just inside of the like meditation. Say, like I say, for example, I love one lady. Например, я люблю какую-то женщину. Sometime lady come in my dream. Иногда она приходит ко мне во сне. Sometime lady may appear, some vision. Так иначе какое-то видение появляется ее. But uh, sometimes I am very happy. Иногда даже я сейчас. But actually I'm not very really happy if my lover come to in front of me no, and talk, talk directly, endless directly, right? So this is Sakshat Darshan. Sakshat means direct. Darshan means seeing. And this subject very nicely elaborately explained in Brihad Bhagavatamrita. The difference of vision inside and directly. So we we have to accept the every whatever happening in the mercy of Radharani, that also true. So how Radharani is merciful upon to us also true. But uh, if someone who is uh, more eager to no, see to or get service and uh, this greed is more and more increasing the devotee more more desire to have shaksha darshan and then crying 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 and then this utmost stage and then so like uh, if we if we are staying in the United States, to it's meet the President of the United, United States is not so easy. Uh, 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 yeah. Or if we Italy, if we, we want to meet 
highest pope is not so easy. Your imperator of Japan yeah, 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 yeah. and mother imperatrice. Yeah, like if we are staying in Japan and if I want to meet the emperor, it's ah, almost so impossible. <laughs> so much Honestly, protection. It's just yeah. you know. So the fact to speak to me, Shirimati, <laughs> is much, much, much more higher. More, more difficult to meet in you know, the president of the United States or emperor of Japan. It's, it's not to compare. Eh? Mm-hmm. So we have to be very one point and very strong desire like children, like child crying. No, then real mother, <laughs> our dearest Ranika. It's very nice in this case to remember the prayer of Shilrupa Gasami Krishna Deva Bhavanta Mandra. Mm. When he is praying to Krishna, he is telling, then I'm, I'm desiring so much to be with Srimati Radhika. And he is praying about this. But then I remember how, what, what the great um, efforts was did by previous sadhu in previous ages. And compare with what I'm doing for my goal, what was their goal and what was my goal. They had desire to go to Narayan mm. in Vaikuntha. My desire go much more higher, the top of possibilities. But what they did for their goal and what I am doing, my hands become like this. I'm hopeless. But then I remember what you, Krishna, has Agata Gatana Patyasi Shakti, that energy, that power, means Srimati Radhika, which can do impossible possible. Mm by just unlimited mercy. Then my eagerness again, my hope again coming. And also Guru Dev, therefore Guru Dev say, can we do 15,000 of tapasya, austerity, like a sage of forest, or beda, we can live only at most 100 years. It's impossible. So we cannot do sadhana like that. Therefore, Guru Dev's conclusion is we cannot be sadhana sita. We only possible by Kripa sita. This is Kripa sita. This is Kripa sita. This is Kripa sita. means so be fraction which attained just by mercy, okay. only by mercy, mm-hmm. by love. Like I say, some shop, very shop, difficult to enter shop. You know, I don't know, maybe United, only big person can go to some shop or some kind of, uh, like, a, like a special restaurant. <coughs> So at that time, normal effort impossible to enter. But uh, someone who knows that shop or some restaurant kind of, you know, frequently go to this shop, the person oh, come. But I don't have enough, you know, qualification. No, if I'm there, if I introduce you, no problem. Come with me. But don't alone. We, you know, you can come only with me. Then the, the, the owner said, who is this lady? Oh, this is my friend. Please let, let her. Yes, 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 yes. Because of you are there. So I don't care. Yes. Because if something missing, you repair. Huh? Yes, yes, I, I will support Like this. So we, we, have, we have only hope is mercy. We have only hope of our Guru Dev's mercy, our Parama Guru Dev's mercy, our Guru Parampara's mercy, our Guru Parampara's mercy, our Guru Parampara's mercy. Like something. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.